Okay, in the last section we saw how to write the markup uh, for the HTML part of it and now in this section we'll see how to make it look a lot better than the uh, than whatever it currently is looking. So let's just uh, let's start into writing the CSS rules for everything. Firstly, we, we as, you, as we can see the CSS rules for all the left hand sides will be common, all the headers will be common and all the duration part or the subtext we'll call it uh, it's, it's common every text is italic uh, every header is of same color and same font size and both the tables have equal space left so we'll we'll make it reusable for uh, we'll just write one uh, rule uh, one section of rules and we'll reuse it everywhere so firstly let's concentrate on the left hand side so we need to give some class to all three, all these three texts. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna call it. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, for class of table, maybe heading, something like that. Anything is fine. Like I said, and I'm gonna copy and paste it for all the three sections. Okay not here in the education okay for now we have education work experience and introduction has the same class and let's start writing rules for it firstly for table heading now we know uh, now we need to make this entire text align to one single line right so we know that the left hand side should have the same width so that uh, when it takes the equal width all of this text will get pushed onto the right hand side and will start on the same line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some minimum width of 300 pixels. Anything is fine. Let's let's try with 300. That that works. Great. So now our entire text. Now this entire section is taking at least 300 pixels. Okay. It can take more than that. So we are telling that you need to get uh, take at least 300 pixels. And this text is lot smaller than 300 pixels so it's not overflow flowing on the right hand side and everything else uh, that is not uh, outside of this 300 pixels uh, it's starting from the right hand side itself now let's see how to uh, uh, how to change the color and uh, everything else of the all, all these three colors for that we can't apply the uh, color property to the entire uh, the, the en entire table body itself so i'm gonna wrap it inside one more division and i'm gonna call it let's say class of uh, call it props maybe anything is fine let me just copy and paste it here wrap it inside the div that's the important part uh, all three of them here and here okay now i can write i can start write the rules for table props now first we need to make it uh, the text look bigger so i will give it a font size of uh, 25 pixels let's try that that's a lot big uh, of about 22 pixels mm, yeah that that looks good you can uh, experiment it uh, experiment experiment with it uh, however you want next change the color of the text itself uh, i want it to be uh, to match our theme coral refresh there you go uh, that's all you need to do on the left hand side everything is done here now we need to only change now the right hand side itself uh, firstly if you see we the both the tables are uh, this table and this table is they are lot uh, they are together uh, they are close to each other we first need to add some margin between both of them like this one and this one to add I'll just make one more CSS class called margin fix and I think it's fine margin uh, and we need to add a uh, top margin for both of them right this should have some space above it this one should some have some space above it so i'm giving margin top of 20 pixels oh, okay uh, and we will apply this to the tables itself firstly for work experience class margin fix 
and I'll copy that and paste it on the same class education. So education will have margin uh, 20 pixel margin above the experience and experience will have 20 pixel margin above the uh, it, above the uh, itself. If I save it and if I refresh it now both the tables are uh, separated. Now they look a lot uh, cleaner. Uh, now let's see how we can change this in inner text. Firstly, the heading, the duration, and the, uh, the the body itself. To of course we can divide this into three different pro uh, parts and it, it repeat it for four times, right? Uh, that's then exactly that's what we are gonna do. I'm gonna call this one. Yeah, going to the experience class and I'll call it. Uh, job heading is fine uh, next uh, for this one i'll call it job duration and for this one i'll call it class of job description okay and we'll write and we'll repeat this for all uh, of all four of them uh, for this one as well Okay, I haven't changed this to uh, the value will be software engineer just to distinguish between two of them at Facebook started at maybe 17 doesn't really matter okay and I'll repeat it for both of them I'll just copy the heading part of from the above table and paste it for the heading of the bottom the duration and the uh, the description similarly this will be repeated for uh, the bottom table as well heading goes to heading duration goes to the qualification because it's the same text of course you can you you, uh, you would give a some generic name like tilted text or something like that uh, and similarly uh, this heading will repeat again here and this goes here this will go here now we have just applied the classes to all four of them we have not written any rules for them so firstly we'll start writing the rule for the job heading itself i'll go ahead and create a rule for it uh, firstly we need it to be a large text it can't be same uh, size text as all of them right so i'll write font size of 20 pixels save it refresh it i think that could work yeah uh, font size is fine now we need to make this text look a little bit smaller uh, so this entire text on everywhere so i'll target that duration part uh, and write a rule for it to make it look smaller font size of 16 pixels maybe uh, it, it won't change. Let me make it a lot smaller. Let's see how it looks. That's a lot smaller. So for what we are going to do is instead of changing its font size, we'll change the thickness of the font itself. And what, how we can achieve that is with the font weight property. It will keep the size same, but it will make it a lot thinner. Uh, and I'm going to give the thickness of 300. Uh, if I save this and refresh it, now the now you see the thickness. Uh, the text is little bit. Uh, you know thin uh, it's not the same size of the other text uh, so that uh, it's a diffused kind of text right now and we, we also need to make everything italic so I'm just gonna wrap it wrap everything inside the i tag from here to everywhere on all four sides and it will look italic uh, in the tilted form uh, we also need to have some gap between the heading and this uh, tilted text as well and how we uh, on everywhere because right now it's really unreadable right so how we can do that is uh, we can add some line height between uh, on all both of them uh, line height of let's say 25 pixels and this one would take 25 pixels as well there you go now there is a uh, there is gap between uh, on the both both sides on all two of them right uh, 
yeah uh, I, I guess yeah that's all you need to do do you can of course add a little bit more margin let me just do it while i'm at it mm, i'm gonna add some margin between the heading uh, and the the top part of it so for the duration uh, for the description let's see if i can add some margin top of let's say 30 pixels it's look a lot more 20 maybe yeah that's fine so uh, you can of course experiment uh, with it however you want add a uh, few more skills uh, there is one more thing that I missed I guess this work experience is not aligned with the top part so let's just fix that uh, while we are at it um, this uh, the table heading uh, not uh, the TD part where we attach the class of heading that needs to be changed uh, and we need to make it display to look block uh, what it will do is it will push the content from or the starting of the block itself not at the center if I refresh it there you go it uh, now the content will be aligned at the uh, top part of the row itself and like I said there with there are lots of improvements to be done here uh, but now you understand what are the basics of CSS and HTML and how to write rules how to make it look a little bit more attractive uh, importing images and all uh, and that's that was all about this program uh, Masai 101 uh, and see you all later thanks